Coincidentally, while I was writing the retrospective of the Black Widow uh, Daredevil team up, I was listening to Rob Liefeld's podcast where he talked about Gene Colan, uh, specifically Gene Colan's work on Tomb of Dracula, and he mentioned that he didn't find Gene Colan to be a great fit for a superhero book. Um, back in 1983-84, I was purchasing a lot of Bronze Age back issues, and I really loved the, the Gene Colan jerry conway run on daredevil but i do have to admit i was not a huge fan of colin's artwork on the book and I'm, it just was weird it did not fit a superhero book it, that or that was my perspective at the time um some of the stuff was a little weird like like the double upward palm thrust strikes on the villains were just they were they were they were goofy um but in retrospect rereading those issues and re-examining Gene's artwork, I think it's a great fit for Daredevil at the time, especially when the Widow became part of the series, because Colin's work gave it kind of a dreamscape, if you call it that. It's similar to what he did in Tomb of Dracula, because Tomb of Dracula had that very nightmarish, dreamy artwork that was similar to, to German expressionism, but instead of shadows, he was doing, you know, comic book color, you know, gauche colors of early 70s comic book style. And when I read Daredevil, the, in the introduction or the inclusion of Black Widow into the Daredevil series, well, it kind of borders on a romance book in some ways. And I think that the dreamy nature of a, of, of a romance tale kind of fits with Colin's, you know, odd artwork. So it, it, is it a perfect match? No, but it's, but it's, it, it kind of fits when, when you think of it in terms of, a, of the more soap operatic uh, romance style fused with superheroes. At least it does for me.